what's up guys I'm back with another scale trains locomotive review today I am going to be reviewing the Norfolk Southern NS 8099 Southern Heritage unit made by scale trains it's a recent run um, I'm pretty sure they still have some in stock and I was able to get my hands on some and now I will open the box. Okay. As always. Well, not maybe not always, but like scale trains like to do, they have candy for us, which is which I think is pretty cool and nice of scale trains. Uh, I don't think there's any other um, places that make locomotives and they and they send candy in the boxes. So scale trains is the one and only that one does that. So we have the box. Also have some stickers right here. Sorry about that. Shoot. So here's the box. All right, we are back. We're here. I'm about to unbox it now. Unbox it out of this box. So I'll just take this off. Okay, it comes with the manual right here. Each manual has a picture of each locomotive, so like the tier 4 Jeevos right here that I weathered. These, they have the manual and it shows that it says ET44 Jeevo right here instead of ES44, like this one. Okay, it has all your controls This in here. And yeah, okay, let's take this foam off. And here is the locomotive itself, which I think it looks very good. From like right from here, I can see all like, well, not all, but some of the detail. Now we are going, or I am going to take this off right here from, let's see, let's put this over. I think this side, I haven't, or no, we got to pull it out, forgot about that. Uh, okay. okay, so now we have the 8099 right here. And we have to take 8099 out of this. And also make sure you put this baggie somewhere because I had it, that same baggie for the um, freight cars I got from Scale Trains. And I lost it. Probably want to put that in the box. And uh, here it is. Let's pick it up right here. So you have to also take these out. That protects it. Let's move this out of the way. So here we here we are. We have the locomotive 8099 right here. 
it looks nice. This is my first ES44 Jivo from Scale Trains. So, I've never had one before, but I've recently gotten the um, ET44 Jivos. So now I'm just going to take this out right here. You could do it, like, take do this, but it's probably better just to get your fingernail under here and do it this way. Because if you do it, like, pull it from here, you're probably going to damage some stuff. Go to the other side. Get these two out. All right. So here we have eighty ninety nine. And it looks very good in person. And it's, it's like, it's amazing. So now we'll get to the details. It has, the one of the details is the horn right here. That's the Nathan K5 HL, I think it's a Gen, Gen uh, 3. And you have the tread right here, which is light a light color then you have the PTC which is what I like about some of the well I think I'm not sure if all of them have it but I know there's is most of the NS heritage units have the PTC the black that doesn't match with the the cap so I think it looks nice having a different color they captured that detail good they also, uh, the, what is this, the exhaust right here, that's good. I mean, hold on, I gotta go do something. I have my exacto knife to better, so it can be better with pointing instead of having my big finger in the way. But we also, we have this, I think it's a grab iron. Uh, we have the see-through grills. Not just right here and and also here, you have the warning labels on the top, and looks like that might be it. Besides, there's more. Um, there's more. Uh, let me see. I forgot. Oh, grab irons. Separate. Um, separate. Separately applied. Yep, PTC antennas, these small PTC antennas right here, and these big ones right here, look silver, and uh, right here on the side, you have the windows, the, um, the sunshade flap, the mirror, the K, I'm not sure what that K is for, but I know it's there. Um, you've also got the trucks with the moving the moving bearings, so you can see you can see it move when the model's running. You have the step the um, steps right here. You also have this, which they use to get up when they go up the steps. Um, you have the number eighty ninety nine. You have these vents like right here. You also have the tank with the emergency fuel shut up, shut shut off. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of these. I know this one right here is the where they fill it up. You got the handrails on the side. These see-through grills right here. Uh, this right here too. I don't, this is see-through, but it's there. You got southern on the side. You got also these see-through grills. These right here and these two up here. If you look, 
you can see right through it. Oh. <laughs> and uh, you got these same trunks on the other side, on the back of it. Right here. And you got this right here. I'm not sure what this right here is. I know I see it on real locomotives. And yeah. You got that. And now let's go to the back. Okay, now we're on the back of it. You have the scale trains coupler, the emu hoses, you have the air hose right here. You have these spare knuckles. Um this right here I forgot, but you can in real life they connect it to the locomotive. If it's um if the locomotive's right behind it or in front. You also have the back ditch lights. You have the handrails up here. You have these grab irons. You have the uh, the light. Then here's the back of the radiator. And then for this side, so um, almost pretty much same thing as the other side but you have this uh i think this is where the battery is or some compartment you have these three uh vents for the brake the dynamic brake you have these grab irons which they used to go up on top right here you have also these there's also these grab irons too to get up here there's a southern, um, there's a fuel tank, pretty much the same, um, stuff. You got the brake chain detail, and just like the other side, you can also see through, let's see, right here, and, uh, yeah, one thing I just noticed is this right here. That the uh, handrail is uh, like that. Um, not sure if I did that. I might have when I bumped into it. Or if it came like that. But I'm pretty sure this is an easy fix. And let's go up to this side. Same thing. Then the front right on the front you have the classic Norfolk Southern style where the headlight is on top and sorry if I'm not starting sorry about me just not starting from the top and then going down or from going from the bottom to the top I am just going in a, a weird order but like I was saying the headlight is on top. You have these grab irons. And another, uh, these other grab irons up here. Yep, there's the sin filler hatch. Which I think I forgot to cover. That on the back, there's also another sin filler hatch right here. And, uh, you have the front ditch lights. You have these the um handrails the snow plow with these separately applied parts you got the scale trains coupler coupler and um you have this i'm not sure i forgot i have to watch other people's review but i think it's either this right here or this, the red one. That one of those are either MU hoses. Then you got the door right here. Unlike some railroads like CSX, uh, I think BNSF, and maybe CN. Some they some of them have the the uh, 
the window right here on the door, but Norfolk Southern doesn't really have it on their locomotives. And uh, that is pretty much, except for the number boards right here. And yeah, and also there's the um, Southern the southern um, logo and also something if I take this off the tripod you can see that there's this detail very small it's a very small detail right there my camera can't really focus. Maybe if I back up and then zoom in on it, but you can see it better. No, but it's there. It's a nice detail that Skill Trains um, has for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the details. Now we're going on to the sound. Guys, uh, sorry for the mess of wires. This is my, um, I moved the layout. So, and, um, right here for the address, for all locomotives that you have gotten, maybe that already has sound in it, or you put sound in it, it, the address should be 0003. So I'm going to put 3, press this. Then when I press 8 to start it up, it should come on. Also, I forgot to mention this is Loke Sound. It already has sound in it. And yeah. And there we go. F6 is ditch lights. Um, and F0 is headlight. The headlights should, uh, the back headlight and ditch lights should come on when I put it in reverse. Which it does. Okay. Let's press the horn. The uh, ditch lights should flash when I press the horn. Alright, some of the controls. F3 should be coupler crash. Uh, F4 is a dynamic brake, which I think it only comes on when the locomotive is moving.
Okay, it looks like I have um, bad power right in this section, but if I move it back, it should start back. We put it in reverse. F5 is the DPU light. Mm -hmm. Turn off F5 off. F9 is drive hold, which makes it to where you can uh you can have the throttle up without it moving. Oh wait, I gotta turn it on. I got to turn F9 on. Now F9 is on. I want to see if it has the overlapping bell, which it does not, unlike my other locomotives from scale trains, the bell was overlapping, I, it was something I thought they had fixed, but I guess not, maybe not for those two locomotives, but maybe for other ones. And uh, F15 is the isolation switch. I don't know what that does. F17 is the brake set release sound. F19 is, or sorry, F18 is sa a sanding valve. F19 is the short air let off.
F20 is the compressor. F21 is the sound of the handbrake wheel. F22 is the sound of the cab door. F23 is the sound of the engine compartment doors. I'm just show the um, controls. And also, F8 is not just the, the startup, it's also the shutoff. So I'm going to turn the headlights on. Okay. You can also run it while the sound is off. So you can act like it's just DCC ready and doesn't have sound on it. Just gotta wait for it. Uh, oh, I have nine on. Now that I have F9 off, now it should run without sound. Hold on. Uh, let me see something. Okay, guys, for some reason, it didn't move with the sound off. But I will try to show you guys how to um, how to do the to make the number match I forgot what it was called I'm going to be showing you guys how to program the locomotive sorry for the mess everywhere but I'm gonna show you how to program the locomotive so first what you want to do is go here or no sorry not here go here do press one okay you're gonna read it first they um say some people say you should see it move but when I was programming my other scale trains locomotives and some and one other that wasn't scale trains it didn't move but only one moved when I was reading it. Then after that, you want to um, press this. I think you press right. Let's see. Sorry. Maybe. Um, maybe you should press data. Put the number of the locomotive you want to you want the address to be and then you want to write it maybe press select I haven't done this in a while and then press write and I think you're going to read it again it says program track is empty Hold on, I'm gonna have to check it. Okay, the programming worked. It's now set at 80.99. Turn this on. Okay. I 
I'm gonna set my other locomotives on the track to run with it. I have this locomotive turned on to go with it. I'm just gonna get 36, 90 as well. So when you want to do this, the locomotive that you're gonna have um, uh, doing this with, make sure if you have one locomotive like this backwards, and you're gonna go forward with the first locomotive, make sure you have this one set in reverse so it can be good to uh, be set up like this. This is my first time trying three locomotives. So I'm gonna set it up. This is gonna be how you do it. I'm gonna put in 8099 first, then you can press this again. MU. Then you put whatever number of the consist it is. So 3451 is the second locomotive. MU plus. And 8099, we're going to do MU again, and then 3690. Okay, and so now they should run all together. Let's see. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Oh yeah, okay, I did it wrong. So if you ever want to take it off, you're going to go to MU, put the number, so I'm going to do 3690, and do minus, MU minus right here, which is B, and boom, you have it like that. And then I'm going to set it up again, 8099. It's going to ask you to steal the locomotive. You press yes. Then 8099. And we're going to set it up. Okay. And you plus. Now I'm going to do it again since I did it wrong. Okay. Now it should be good. It shouldn't go the wrong way. This one. Hmm. Okay. I see. Hold on. Um. Oh, yeah. well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. And I hope to do some more unboxing soon. Bye.